Good day, everybody. Welcome to today's video. It's Jerry for Backcountry Wrench, and today we're going to look at another bi-directional scanner. And first off, a while ago, X Tool sent me the D7. If you guys remember watching that video, I brought it outside here to remind myself how unimpressed I was with it. I just find overall scanner just feels cheap. Didn't find it worked all that smooth. But they sent me a new one. It's supposed to be better. Let's have a look at what's inside the box. So this is the X Tool IP819. We're going to see how it compares to the D7. Comes in a pretty similar blow molded case there. Opening her up. As you can see, there's some sort of dicey electrical charger right there that I would never ever use. I just charge directly from USB from my own power sources. And let's have a look at the tablet style itself. So, feels way better than the D7. D7 felt cheap. This one actually feels really good. Do the old boot up. You gotta do your whole activation. Connect to the Wi-Fi. Start the activation. Add your email, etc. Then once you get that done, it does a first initial update before it can boot up and load. And once it's done, you see we've got 129 updates it's got to do. So at this point in time, if you want to get out of the box and use it right away, you're going to have to wait. 129 updates will take probably a little over an hour. Just booting up. Like anything, the updates take forever. And it looks like it needs more updates. We'll just take care of those right away before we get into it. Updates are all done. Let's do the auto scan. That's a big thing for me because if you can't acquire the VIN, which it did, that was pretty quick. You automatically won't be able to get all the features that a bi-directional scanner has so we're just doing the scanning right now it's fast holy crap can't believe how fast it is so let's have a look voltage low voltage low voltage low voltage low Nothing in there to be really all that worried about. So pretty impressed with how fast it is. Uh, I don't want to start the engine. Because I'm inside the garage. I don't. Na, 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 na. Do the AC indicator. Oh, it did turn it on. Look at that, eh? I like doing these little bi-directional command things. So this is in the blower. Oh, yeah. All the manuals is the different speeds. Nice. Supposed to have the engine started for the actuation test, but I'm not starting in the garage. So, vacuum pump wheel. Let's see if we can turn it on. Yeah, you can hear it. Oh yeah, this sense. This bi-directional scanner is pretty good, actually. Fuel pump relay. Should be able to turn it on. I can hear it. So no turned on, which is actually a good sign because. With the Jeep JKs, the fuel pump relay is located in the tip them, and sometimes that relay will fail, giving you the impression that your fuel pump has failed, when indeed your fuel pump is good, but the relay has failed. It's kind of a stupid setup. I keep meaning to make a video on how to jumper it out in case possibly that happens. You can go into live data. Do, 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 do. 
All right, this is good. This is really good. So now we're in special features. Let's go to the instrument cluster. Mileage adjustment. I wonder if this will allow you to do something illegal. That's what it's saying I should have. That's what I'm saying. Let's just go. Uh, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oops. Let's just go. See what happens. Holy, that will allow you to do some illegal things. We need to change that back. Shut her down, shut her down. I jumped my mileage up a little bit, but that's all right. Oh boy, I could get you into trouble. That's pretty insane. I'm mind blowing. You guys just seen that this tool allowed you to rewrite the mileage if you wanted to which opens up a whole new world of scamming people. That's why if you're buying a vehicle, it's always great to get the Carfax because if they record the last known mileage at a dealership or something, ah oh boy, that's intense, that is crazy. That opens up to a whole bunch of illegal activities. Just inside the Volkswagen right now. Stop, start, reset, AC, relearn. This thing can do quite a bit. Let's see if we can load this one up. That sucks. So it seems like X-Tool doesn't have the automatic scan working for the Volkswagen. The other one didn't do it either. So we're going to do an automatic scan. So it's going to go through the whole process of scanning every module it has in its system. Which this scan will take a little while because it's going to go through 49 instead of just doing the ones for the vehicle itself. So that's the codes that I got, typical codes. I need to work on that sometime. I did not read the fan because it's winter time now. So I had a engine fan code related to the AC. So these are my special features. I wish there was something with the headlights. Because they put LED headlights in. Now I got air codes. I wish there was a way that you could turn them off. Yeah. Again, air because what's coolant exhaust? It does give you a nice diagnostic report, that's for sure. So with Volkswagen, you can get into where the channels are through the ECU configurations. Once again, this is the X-Tool IP819. 
Besides for it not being able to read the Volkswagen, and I'm going to assume it probably won't read the uh, program PCM in the Jeep as well. I'm actually pretty impressed with it. Still, it's got a lot of features I need to try out in the future. Price point is pretty decent on it as well. I'm definitely going to have to bring it out along with my other scanner in the future to do some more testing on that with it. It is probably better than some of the other scanners that I have received. If only X-Tool could get the automatic VIN down right where it could scan pretty much all the vehicles, I think that would be a huge bonus, but uh, maybe they'll correct that in the future. I keep checking every now and then just to see, but uh, still the same old, same old. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'd like to know what you guys think about this one in the comments below. Definitely uh, could do some illegal work, that's for sure. I'll see you guys next time. See you later.